like three module slots that I really want that will help me to get crazy builds. So it will drain the battery pretty fast and take a look at our credit. They are skyrocketing right now. What's up guys, it's Tenkosh and today we are doing upload simulator to beginner's guide that will show you the builds that you can use to progress faster and overall guidelines and tips that will help you to be better at the game. For the purpose of this video, some things will be done on the Android emulator LD player. The link will be in the description. You can download that in order to activate things um, that will help you to use some builds and exploit some mechanics. So, uh, first of all, you can leave the game running on the PC in the background. That will allow you to get a really good idle income without getting uh, offline income. So, that will be really, really efficient. Let's go. So, okay, first thing, in the previous video, I said that you can't reset the upgrades here with your skill points, but you can. You just need to watch two ads or get enough diamonds through the... Uh, special tasks and you can upgrade uh, refined you can buy this thing and you should do this at some point uh, I would advise to do this when your hack will reach level 25 or so at that point you will have enough points uh, to get several of those things running and you will have extras before that three hacking slots will be enough for you after that you can change things around in anyway i'll do this because i bought really bad things here let's do upgrade refund there we go and now we got 34 points at level 34 what should we get to get better i i will tell you what sh you should avoid you should avoid connection quality signal quality upload slot Offline time, offline ratio, battery voltage is really important, battery capacity isn't that important, uh, luck, not so much, antivirus, useless, charisma, useless, although it might be good later on, but early on you don't want to do that, compression, not good, hex slot are really good if you get enough mana region, uh, I mean battery region, and uh, enough hacking points. Module slot is really good as well, it's really efficient, so you can get either this and this, um, everything else here is like, it's okay. Crafting speed, we'll talk about crafting a bit later and uh, the modules. Power generation should be important, but not that crazy. Cooling, I don't think it's needed early on. You can do the reset later. So, what do you want to do with your points? Uh, first of all, I would advise going to full battery voltage so you will get battery recharge going to the maximum. That will allow you to use more hacking slots effectively. And then we got 24 points and that's enough to get like three module slots that I really want that will help me to get crazy builds and uh, probably, probably, probably one hacking slot. Let's get one. We'll get second one later. And the rest of those points, four, will go into... Let's put two into upload speed and two in the mining speed. Those additional multipliers will help you quite a lot. Uh, although putting too many points over here won't be a good idea because like it's by 20 percent i'm not sure how it's calculated actually is it multiplicative or additive multipliers but getting them will help you to get better progress for sure not top priority you can reset it later and reassign how you need if your strategy will change so now when you reassign the skill points or if you didn't uh, let's talk about the components here uh it's divided into areas, early and late game. Early game, you want to focus on your GPU as much as possible because it will increase your credits income and your build should focus on the credit income early on. When you reach some point when it's really slow, like we are right now, you can switch to network build. So you will uh, get extra purchases here in the network build that will allow you to get more uh, data transfer that will allow you to get higher levels and more signs on the reset uh, for the cpu get as many as you can because those boost both of those that's really good i already said in the previous video purchase give you more of the current tier components upgrade gets them to the next tier and they will give you more stuff uh, in terms of numbers it seems it's like 10 of current tier uh, components give the same amount as one higher tier component so you should upgrade somewhere around five to eight uh components 
earlier the better basically but don't wait too long because it's inefficient that way next let's talk about the research and it's pretty straightforward when you reboot you will get a pretty good boost to your science gain right now we get 38k and after the reboot we get 5 million per second and the more science points you get the more technologies you will unlock uh, modules are essentially you want to get it as soon as possible bulk buy and gadget deals are useless they are not that crazy overclock is important uh clutch can help you quite a lot that's a good one and over here you can get the solar panel basically you will have to get whatever you can because they are very spaced so if you get 10 billions you get only this then at 10 trillions you get this so you will get all of them anyway i won't talk about those too much milestones are important though because the more science you get the more bonuses you will get and those can be pretty good uh more of those will be unlocked later on but you need to unlock technology to get access to that um, the rule of thumb reboot when your progress slow down so i'm about at that point i think i will reboot when i'll reach level 35 so it's a good idea to wait for the next milestone to get extra points uh or to get extra hacking point over here as well because uh as far as i understand hacking is based on your credits gain while level is based on your data gain so you know get this milestone ready get the bonuses and be good while we're waiting for the reset let's talk about the modules now for the modules i made this specific build god damn it and uh i made an idle build basically so what do you need the first thing that first thing you want to get here is auto clicker auto clicker will allow you to automatically pick up whatever is flying on your screen just like that and that will give you a lot of module pieces this amount of modules i earned in about 40 minutes while i was getting ready for the video so that's the first thing and you can remake it in order to increase its quality and uh, remaking cost one pcb and uh, it's random you can get different tier of upgrade ranging from d i think or f all the way to s tier and uh, yeah it takes some rng to get it and uh Decide on what do you want over here. I advise to keep the higher rarity one. This is actually pretty good. It gives us upload and mining speed. Let's get it right now. Better recharge. Better recharge is better. So those bonuses should be the ones that you need right now. And uh, I honestly like the better recharge a lot because I always like that. I got the heavy battery builds. Second thing you would like to get is eliminator that will automatically take out the viruses. And I have it as well. Why? Because when you run uh, auto clicker and eliminator at the same time, you will get no uh, drawback over here that virus was just destroyed by the eliminator we got extra energy which is pretty cool and uh, we can leave the game afk overnight and uh, we will get all the credits we will get everything harvested before that if we will leave only with the auto clicker we will get a lot of modules it's still worth it because with the modules you can create other things by default you got three modules available for you now we got i think five maximum so we can do more things uh i have nano lens over here that give artifact spawn rate i was testing this against breadboard and breadboard is better because it gives you part production artifacts will give you like random stuff like those things that improve your energy region and that kind of stuff pretty good but not that crazy so let's install the breadboard uh, we can get five now this is so good because on your idle run you would like to focus on the part production before you get all the parts that you need over here so that's the build that you want to run when you're uh, idling because those things will help you so much and you would like to reroll quite a lot so that will require a lot of pcbs so you will need a lot of those things by the way uh some of those modules can be upgraded to the next level like this breadboard is level five we got rgb lights uh, that upgraded to level 5 as well that will give higher bonuses and rgb lights are nice because they boost both credits and data and they get this beautiful glow on the side now what should you use for your progression for the end game you obviously would like to add upload speed so you will get more data transfer um don't have enough transistors that's why you would really like to run a lot of those so I think for the end game build, when you get enough breadboards and uh, breadboards, components, modules, and you want to get as far as possible in terms of your progression before the reset, I would advise going with RGB lights, uh, auto clicker and eliminator are optional. 
packager to get more upload speed and power charger for the battery recharge that will allow you to run heavier uh, hacking build. So yeah, everything else here, it's good, but it's not that crazy useful for your gains. So yeah, charge booster is nice as well. It increases performance based on your maximum battery. So for this one, you might want to add, add lithium battery as well. But for your normal run, when you are just building up, you would like to get RGB lights, breadboard, uh, maybe nano lens or power charger, something that kind of suits your build you will you can add them and remove so you can adjust it as you want as you go it's pretty easy and when you get five slots it's even easier to manage it properly next one let's talk about hack builds uh now this is interesting and here you gotta be careful this one you cannot reset and you really don't want to buy all the crap that's available over here so what do you want let's see early on you would like to get overheat quicken and recharge those are very useful and those three will be used in your build quite a lot recharge is very important when you don't have enough battery regen to give you the energy so we have it available for the upgrades you put automation all the time and then adjust power as needed so it wouldn't be, be drained basically so you would have enough uh, battery production here then after the recharge it depends on the stage of the game if you are really early on you get boost mining power over heat over here bam 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 and max it out if you can and get print equip print and give it maximum points as well so those three things will allow you to get high battery regen uh higher amount of credit gain and you can click this to get credits and what's cool that on the pc you can enable auto clicker and do something like this so it will drain the battery pretty fast and take a look at our credit they are skyrocketing right now so you can buy so many things like that and if you got really good battery region you can do it quite fast quite a lot and that will allow you to get more of those upgrades easier faster in order to get even more uh credits and get more upgrades in other areas as well like overpower for example but that's a manual build that you would like to do when you are actively playing when you are not actively playing you don't want to click anything right and uh print doesn't have that ability so you remove points from the things that you don't use unequip them that way you will have all your hacking points available and uh, what's useful specifically if you get quite enough of uh, energy region is using optimize this one is good it got a bonus for uh, upload and mining speed so it's useful for both of our main things let's equip it automate it and if we put all the points that we have over here you'll be running three of those at the same time if you don't get extra slots and one of those gives you energy another gives you production of specific resources that you want and the third one will give you boost of the production both of uh credits and the data so now we're focused on the credits and uh for the passive build this is the best way to get the credits okay we had some bug with it i don't know why but uh, usually it works so when you have those three things running this will have 100 uptime and that will boost your credits gain quite a lot if you get this thing for credits uh usually you want all of those in i don't know why it's not working i have no idea i'm not a dev so those are three core things for the credit gain now another one is replacing overheat with quicken that will allow you to get more data so uh, remove upgrades here unequip equip quick and upgrades here and that will boost your data gain that will actually speed up the amount of well yeah data gain basically and what's cool now when we got four slots we can get both of those in so we can get both overheat and uh quicken but that's why I said you want to do that additional slot at 25 hacking points or higher because um we don't have enough points to fully upgrade them so that means that that's not the most efficient build available right now but it's okay it's still better than nothing so it will do uh for the fifth slot i advise going for overcharge i think it's good you can also try scan from time to time because it will boost artifacts found kind of useful and there is a, another hack that we don't know probably about manufacturing will be useful later on so everything else here isn't that crazy useful skip might be good 
but it's uh, very expensive. It's 20 per second, while print is one per second, and it's still pretty expensive. So if you can afford it, go for skip. Everything else here doesn't seem to be worth it, to be honest. Uh, neutralize, we got the module for that. Reveal, very expensive for one artifact. Uh, trigger, using all stuff, so eh. Panic recharge, same kind of weird thing an overcharge will give you a uh, boost for power generation which is nice but once again this is not the top priority you would like to boost your basic gains before working on the generators now let's move to the overclocking since we're talking about that here you spend your resources your money to buy overclocking units that will give you uh, power per unit per second basically you got the income over here uh you can buy space and install generators over there like solar panels they will give you additional multiplier which is multiplicative that will boost your gains even higher right yeah with the saved up power you can buy the overclock for gpu or network which it's getting pretty expensive pretty fast, but it's giving you crazy boost. So right now it's like about three times faster for each of those. It's pretty simple. Later on, you will have to manage the heat as well when you get other generators unlocked. Uh, but it works just like that. It's just additional multiplier for you that you can do to make it work better. And as you can see with this end game build, you can just chill, relax and let the game do everything for you. It will collect all the loot, it will collect all the artifacts, you can adjust it as you want if you want more artifacts. For module pieces you would like parts production I guess, because it's I think it's separate from the artifacts bound over here, uh, which Lux gives you, but I'm not really sure about that, so let me know in the comments if you know that, but yeah. Um, as you get more battery recharge here, more bonuses from the modules, you'll be able to make more powerful builds, including like uh, more power greedy hacks, like the ones that are here for the power generation. And yeah, I just want to do the reset right now with you guys, because I think we are not really stuck, but we slowed down. So let's go do the reboot and that will give us crazy amount of signs. 154B, there we go, it's going up right now milestones not there yet but now when we get higher gain of science we will be able to afford more things here but the drawback that everything resets to the basic value and uh, once again you should start with getting the upgrades those will help you to get faster growth so there is no point doing put chases early on if you can do the upgrades straight away to get more gains so while we're building up our <laughs> income here what you should upload Honestly, it doesn't matter that much because the bonuses here aren't that crazy. If you lack energy, if your build kind of drawing your energy too fast, you would like to go for the music because that will give you a battery region things. So that will be nice for your build if you are lacking energy. In our case, it's not the problem. So we would like to go for um, either the image. So we'll get some extra credits or the game that will allow us to uh get random buffs i will go with image because i don't really care when you get more of those slots i we just remove them because we don't really need them it doesn't matter what you upload if you get more slots your upload speed will be the same it will be just divided between the slots so it's not really crazy useful getting higher basic values matters more uh yeah in that case you would like to get one image one music and one video because video when it's uploaded it will uh finish your image and music that you are doing right now and yeah guys early on you really would like to remove data bonuses because the amount of points you can get from the manual farming like this is insane look at that we're getting 60 billion already which is enough to do another upgrade here which will give us even more credits that will give us even more bonuses and yeah, you can get a really far, fast startup if you are playing on the PC instead of the mobile. Just when you're doing the manual way, make sure to enable this boost before getting into the spending the rest of your energy. That will be more efficient and uh, you will get more resources like that. And playing like this, guys, you can get pretty fast, pretty far because this is very efficient way of doing things. You can get quite a fast startup like this and uh, get up to the speed where you left easier and faster.
So yeah, guys, I hope this guide will help you to go through upload simulator too easier and uh, those builds will help you to be more efficient. Let me know if you get extra tips for the game down below in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. That will help to promote it in YouTube algorithm and I'll be happy because you guys are writing comments to me because it's pretty cool. Check out the video description for the LD player download link, my playlist with other videos, my other YouTube channel, social media, Discord and other useful stuff. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. That's about it for now. Stand Kosh out. Have a good one. Bye.